Alright, looks like they're having some kind of party over there. But, for the people that don't understand or realize that I actually do leave the house sometimes. It happens. I'm going to do some things. Maybe I'll put it in the video, maybe not. We'll see. But I am leaving for a good hour or something like that. Just have to get out of this fucking house. Ugh. It took way too long to get this choker on. Ridiculous. But I have to actually like drive and stuff, so I have to kind of focus a little bit. A little bit. But I'll probably show videos of this little adventure that I'm going to go on. So hope you enjoy that. See what a half hour could do. Oh my god. Okay. We have arrived at the um one of the little docks or whatever, marina as they call it. Around here. So probably it takes some pictures or whatever, but I might end up posting this one, who the hell knows? But yeah. They're mostly gonna be stills. I don't, usually don't do just like filming of when I go to shoot. Uh, plus, I ran out of. I didn't run out yet, but I know like the way I take pictures, like I could legitimately take 40 or 50 shots of every single of the same exact view, and you know enjoy taking every single shot. But then that takes up juice doing that, and a lot of times I keep the auto focus on, so I'm sure that takes up more juice than it should. And it became my best friend last year when I found the autofocus and how to utilize it. So, rock on with that. But, yeah, anyway, it is, like, extra bright. And I didn't realize, because I haven't been around here in a while, surprisingly. I, this is, like, I, I love coming over here. It's such a nice place to, to shoot and just in general. So, alrighty, well, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. I might do like a little like conclusion of when I'm done with taking my little shoot today. We'll see. I have no idea. Alrighty. Okay. Figured I might as well do it. I think I did one other video like two, three months ago at this exact same spot, but I figured I'd do it again. It's a nice day today. Everybody check this out. Okay. I'm to get the least amount of humans as I can in this. As I predicted, the SLR uh, battery died, and I didn't charge the other one, so here we are. I'm just taking some pictures with this, you know, with the phone or whatever, and then I'm just going to get the hell out of here. Oh, man. It was a nice day today, though. Glad I went out, took some pictures and stuff. But I will catch you guys later on, I don't know, whenever. Like I said, see what I see Let me get one last shot. It's nice as hell. I don't know if I can actually do it on. No, I can't. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Oh.
little story. While I was doing some actual footage of the sunset, some dude came with his family. He's like this little kid. He started playing the bagpipes. So, yeah. That happened. Oh, man. It's actually kind of chilly. Let's see. Let's see what happens, man. But, yeah. I mean, I have like a tank top on and shorts. I like hardly ever wear this unless it's like 90 something degrees. And it's really not that hot today. But, figured I'd cool off a little bit, get some air, you know. Take some pictures and do some videos, so that's what it did. I shit to it, but to do it, as Snoop Dogg would say. <laughs> that's funny as hell. Old Snoop Dogg reference and shit. Alrighty, well, I'm probably gonna go home now. We'll see. I'm gonna try to catch that Kardashians. I haven't seen that in like two, three weeks, four weeks, something like that. I don't remember how long. They had that extra paper at the end of the month, the end of May. Actually, literally the last day of May, they had another pay-per-view. So, I don't think the Kardashians is afraid of, you know, going against WWE pay-per-views. So, the only time the Kardashians are not on when they're not, when they, yeah, when they're not in season is the Super Bowl. So, they tend to stand against everything else. It's kind of weird, too, because, like, the actual programming that they have through, you know, it's like an offshoot called Total Divas. They actually will put that on with the pay-per-view, you know, same night as the pay-per-view, like a new episode. That's kind of funny. Got to kick out of that a little bit. There's just too many shows on, just in general, whether it be on, you know, HBO. It's, it's just too many. There's too many shows. Too many shows on regular cable. Too many, sh you know, binge-watchable shows on um, Netflix or whatever other program you have you know as far as like a streaming network or whatever because i'm sure there's original ones i checked out the amazon one once they have some original stuff but i don't know it's just too much for me I, you just get to a point where you just like i don't even utilize half the stuff that i have more than half the stuff that i have now so and i know i'm not alone on that aspect Alrighty, well i'm done ranting so i'm gonna wrap this one up okay we are back in business here. When I was going back to edit, and actually I'm still editing right now. Some of that footage I did before. I noticed there were some smudges or dirt or whatever it is. It's damn SLRs. They're great cameras, but they require a lot of maintenance and stuff. And I didn't actually look at the video while I was still there to get another one. So, it's got some stuff on it. I don't know if I can actually edit like video with removing spots and stuff on it. I have no idea. I hope so, but I've never done that before, so. Oh boy. I think I just got it now. That's why I'm just gonna, you know, try out this this little uh, little video here. Little ending on the day. So yeah. I mean, I got up like really late today, but. I did get some stuff done, so that was a good thing. Whoa, what was that noise? Oh, somebody got shot! That kind of sucks. That's like fireworks or something. Which is ridiculously funny how illegal fireworks are in New Jersey, yet everybody has them at any given moment. It's called driving down to Pennsylvania or over to Pennsylvania and getting them at a discount price or Delaware or something. A lot of people go to Delaware to get shit. Because that's what we do. <laughs> anyway. Just wanted to wrap up the day, I guess. Figured I'd try this last part out with the video. Hopefully it doesn't have any scratches or smudges. It was really like smudges because if it was scratches, it would never come off. Obviously. So, anybody that has SLR, sometimes that is the problem. You may not have to actually get an entire new camera. Because, cool story, when I was shooting pictures out... You know, like, when it was really, really cold, I guess the air pressure and everything like that is totally different than it is when the, you know, weather gets warmer. It was like, like in the dead of winter. Like, I went in the morning, and it, and it happened quite a few times, actually. And I noticed that I make an edit it, because there's still, you know, still photos, so it doesn't matter. But, I mean, you know, it is a pain in the ass when you have to do that on, like, every single picture you want to edit, so... You should you should watch that, but it 
you know, if you do go back and look at it, you know, you do a lot of editing and videos, sometimes it is not a scratch. And some, sometimes you just have to take apart the lens, which I literally just did less than 10 minutes ago. And just, like, you make sure, obviously, your hands are clean or everything. Or use, like, a, a cloth or something. And just, you know, rub it right off there. And it'll come right off. So you may not have to actually, you know, shell out an extra six or seven hundred dollars in another camera unless you obviously want to get a better one. So nothing wrong with that either. But just saying. Just saying. Because I, I, that's the first thing I thought, you know, when I was, you know, back in, oh man, I don't even remember. It was like early February, late uh, January or something when there was still a lot of snow around. I went out and just, you know, to the places that I go around to and just took some pictures because, yeah, you know, I like to take pictures and obviously snow is only around once, you know, with every few months so I figured I'd take a lot of pictures of snow and so I usually try to go out at least a few times in the winter to take pictures because, you know, after a while sunny days do kind of get, you know, boring to a certain extent. I mean, it's still nice to look at and everything but... You gotta get different stuff, and it's cool because you get, you know, the same places, but it just has all the snow on it, so, you know, change the seasons and all that fun stuff, so, that's what happens when you live in New Jersey, and we definitely are known for getting lots and lots of snow, but yeah, what I was doing, I was looking up the, looking, I just happened to see it because it was like all this, like, snow, and then like, because for some reason it's like a lot more blue in the winter time when you take pictures, I guess the, the photography term is cooler. The, the the temperature of the pictures are a lot cold, cooler, not warmer. Warmer is like, you know, reds and your oranges and your yellows are more prevalent in the picture than as opposed to like blues and cyans and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they, they taught us all that stuff in the photography classes with the temperatures of the of pictures or whatever but yeah so I thought it was the lens I was like oh man that's it you know I've had this camera for a few years and look at what you know I thought that that was the time that I was just gonna have to get another uh, camera altogether or at least get another lens because that still would have been a lot because I don't actually have another lens for this camera <clears throat> I have another one for like a manual SLR that's like a zoom lens but that's it I don't have a a digital, you know, because the technology wouldn't, probably wouldn't even fit on there anyway, but it, it wouldn't read it because it's it's a manual camera altogether. There's no no digital at all in that one, so I don't think it would fit on there. <sighs> but I did wipe off the smudges, you know, that actual, I went in the car and, and like, looked at the pictures because I looked at them first, I was like, wait a minute, what is this, what is this? I keep seeing them in the exact same spot. And, you know, it could almost be, like, a, you know, obviously a different view. And you still see that same, like... It, it's usually, like, black smudges or gray smudges. And they're, like, usually little little divots. And it looks horrible. Or there'll be dots sometimes. But I did fix it, so... That's definitely a good thing. I was, like, panicking. I was like, oh, man, I thought I was really gonna have to sit here and buy another lens or another camera or something. But, you know... By having these nice cameras, all the air seems to seep in there sometimes. Especially because, you know, for the last few days it's been really windy and I was right by the water today. So I'm sure that's how that happened this time. It's good to just check that anyway. I can kind of neglect on that. Now that I figured out that that actually is a thing that can happen. And it is something that can be fixed. So just make sure you don't actually scratch it when you, when you go on the lens part or whatever. Like the little the mirror. You'll, you'll see it when you open it whoever has those cameras so there's always something to something you know it's the price you pay for having all this good technology you gotta maintain it alrighty well that's gonna wrap this one up just wanted to do a little conclusion video well, I'll see you when I see you